Hello, my name is Lili Steiner and today I'm going to share the system currently in place for distance learning at the School of Business Administration of the University of Miami. According to this TED famous speaker, if we want a call to action, we need to structure this proposal in why, how, what, instead of what, how, why. We agree that to start with successful projects, we need to start with a why. Not only a short-sighted why, but a with a visionary why. Why represents our gut feelings and creates commitment to something bigger than us? Why gives us purpose, cause, and belief, and can be relevant through the lifetime of any project at the University of Miami? Then we can proceed as to how and what is in the, is in the process of development. And also for this presentation, we will share lessons learned so far. To understand better the nature of the system, we needed to step back and learn a bit more of all direct and indirect players or stakeholders for this transformational project. Specifically, in order to find why that is larger than ourselves and more significant than a knee-jerk response to the opportunities or threats outside the UN, we need to analyze what we got and where are we standing, because systems analysis is basically trying to capture a glimpse and an opportunity to improve or transform an already dynamic system. The University of Miami, UM, or how we like to call her here, the U, enjoys the advantage of having a great location as it is inserted in a mega system that starts from its neighborhood. Coral Gables enjoys the advantages of South Florida being a hub for more than 1,400 global companies, a hub for all Latin and world imports through the Port of Miami and the International Airport of Miami, and also has alumni in more than 100 cities all over the world. He also has research and development alliances globally. Academically, it has been awarded multiple certifications. As a macro, looking at it from the macro perspective, and this is how the whole university is going to contribute to our project, the University of Miami has 150 and 15 undergraduate, 104 masters, and 63 doctoral programs. For the purpose of this project, we count with Academic Technologies, which is a new unit that bridges IT to teaching and learning process, and it includes the unit for Blackboard support, that's our LMS, the libraries in the libraries which are going through a major transformation and ask the instructional designers to coordinate efforts for design and delivery of new courses online. Major trends are the rise in numbers for international students' application. There seems to be a higher demand for enrollment at both undergrad and graduate level. For the sixth year in a row, the University of Miami was ranked in the top 50 in the U.S. news and World Report annual best colleges each issue. In the 2015 report, UM is ranked number 48 out of 268 institutions nationwide. Princeton Review named UM the best Southeastern college in 2014 and ranked it number three for race class interaction. The School of Business Administration delivers undergraduate and graduate programs, and it's where we are gonna be focusing our attention, and that's why we call it the micro of this system. The delivery of all these programs are on, in the main campus in Coral Gables, as well as in locations as, across Florida and abroad via Exchange Students Program. The award-winning faculty at the University of Miami School of Business form the backbone of our curriculum and represent a mix of academic and real business experience. The School of Business is one of the most seeked for enrollment in their max has been achieved at more than 2,900 2, students in 2014. Also, this is a sample of one of our achievements at UM. All 2012 MBA graduates were employed successfully. The School of Business Administration Executive MBA ranked number 19 in all U.S. standalone executive programs and number one in Florida. Hispanic Business Magazine ranked the School of Business Administration as number eight in the country for Hispanic students. A consensus has, was achieved, and I think everyone can agree that the University of Miami and each one of us individually would like to contribute in order to materialize this vision on what could be the ideal society based on Kaufman's mega vision, 
where we could all agree and feel good about contributing to this vision. Let me clarify one key element here. To further reinforce the importance of finding out why we develop any project, you see, I didn't start with a why when I started working at the School of Business Administration. I just assumed it was already established. I was hired to develop the first hybrid program entitled Miami MBA for the America, and why was shared by Dr. Bouclier in this five-minute video that you can see afterwards. After several months and seeing how there was some resistance to developing an online program with the external alliance, I thought we'd better rethink this because it, co it could cause a lot of harm and it could delay the deli deliverables as a whole for the School of Business. This is why the needs assessments process, as described by Kaufman and Guerra, could clarify the school's intent, looking at the big picture and not getting hung up on who is profiting from this. Adaptability, yes, we need to adapt to the circumstances and reframe what can be seen as a threat and transform it to an opportunity. And that is what makes the needs assessment process so relevant for us at this moment to remind everyone why we're doing what we're doing. Once we were clear about the why, we re-energized ourselves to develop the transformational process. And I think that now is a truly intentional adoption against an accidental, hopefully, adoption of distance education at the School of Business Administration at the University of Miami. By 2018, we would like to continue to provide more self-reliant individuals and contribute to decreasing by 8% the national unemployment rate, as well as contribute to increasing the successful rate by 80% for global, global entrepreneurships. Now we can start working on what? Capability to increase student enrollment is zero, actually, based on the fact that the school cannot admit more students due to the lack of physical space. There are waiting lists and the recruiting crew is impatient to find ways in which to comply with all these potential students. The idea of construction was taken into account, but it would not satisfy the current increase in demand in the, in the short term. After analyzing the causes and related costs, we could consciously agree on what are the means in order to close these caps successfully. The external partner, Laureate Consortium, represented an opportunity to accelerate the program development for the master's program distance education system. So we will take this two-pronged strategy of distance learning, that would be the School of Business Initiative, and the distance learning track as part of the UM-wide strategic initiative. The UM-wide strategic initiative will be for the fully online MBA programs in the School of Business and Initiative will be doing the hybrid uh, programs for the executive MBAs. So let's look at this in more detail. The selected solution for this gap was to develop a hybrid executive MBA programs for the School of Business Administration to be designed and delivered with internal resources namely faculty champions as subject matters experts, or SMEs, a newly hired instructional designer, that's me, and a shared team of videographers and graphic designers as well as IT support from the Academic Technologies Department. Yearly budgets needed to be adjusted for rapid development of the hybrid courses that included high-quality production videos to enrich the online delivery and any level. For the second gap, we would do the full online programs to, for the School of Business Administration. And they will be designed and delivered using an external alliance with Laureate Consortium, where the internal resources would be faculty as subject matter experts having access to local IT support and an instructional designer coordinating the efforts with Laureate. Laureate will provide the instructional design support to conceive and coordinate efforts to build the online courses with the internal coordinator. In IT supports to students, it will be the responsibility of Laureate, as well as an administrative control of all online MBA programs. This alliance should fulfill of a, to effect an increase in 25% enrollment for new students in all MBA programs. And in order to guarantee this success, 
Laureate will cover costs for course review processes with Quality Matters, which is an independent provider. So let's look more in detail how both processes will be worked on. ADI is the selected model to program curricular and instructional development. Initial steps included faculty selection as subject matter experts based on a profile provided by an instructional designer and which was based on Roger's diffusion of innovations theory. That is, to recruit faculty champions that have characteristics similar to the early adopters because they, co they cause contagion, they share the good news, they, are always have, they always have time to try new things, but have the social skills to be leaders if needed. Faculty champions started with the first MBA for the Americas, and when they experienced the process and started delivering the first courses at a distance, they wanted to be the bearers of good news. In the next faculty meetings, they were sharing their course shells, and before we knew it, Everybody was curious and eager to contribute, and champions are the kind of individuals who are very good at paying it forward. Internally, we use Dick and Carry workflow to design each course in a way that provides the opportunity to share short-term successes while looking at long-term processes. For example, showcase course lessons early on at faculty's launch and learn, so faculty could feel proud open the circle to invite more faculty to check on what each team is doing. Social factors are also important. One of the key benefits was expressed by some of the professors when they said, I never met so-and-so from the economics department and he has the same interests as I do. So in a way, in a quirky way, the boss started creating a new network based on newly developed cap capabilities such as Cascading best practices to face-to-face -face courses due to the voluntary, unaided redesign of their own courses. But how can the school leadership be assured that all programs courses, independently of who is building them, are using best practices? After reviewing several options, it was, decide it was decided that the optimal way was to have an independent external provider, that is, quality matters that would implement in parallel to the building and delivery stages of all courses a continuous review provided via training faculty to be peer reviewers and master review services provided by Quality Matters. If you want to, you can watch all these videos which are linked to this uh, PowerPoint presentation. Needs assessment is very important. It is very important that everybody is on the same page as why are we doing what we're doing. We need good communication processes in place, especially when we're working with two teams, one with an external alliances, and that those are 18 programs going that, on that track, plus the internal teams which are developing 15 EN, EMBA programs. And coordinating the efforts need good communications protocols and process in place. We also need to balance monitor and adapt. That means using the ADI system of always assessing and evaluating through surveys, through the grades of the students, through, through focus groups, and avoid overloading. We need to balance rigor, rigor and relevance. More is sometimes less, and less is sometimes better. That was one of the lessons learned on the first courses. And this is for all of us more a pleasure than a business because it has generated so far a great spread of work, a lot of engagement from faculty and now a lot of engagement from the students. So at the end of the day, you bet on people, not necessarily on strategy. Thank you.